and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some more Demir anti-green. All right, so the power's back on at my house. We got the stream going back. I had a little two-day vacation there that I mostly slept through, um, but I'm back. We're going to be playing some rank today with this rank up Sunday, and we're going to start with a deck that we played last week that was a lot of fun to play and felt pretty strong also. I just wanted to make a deck with four Ether Gust and four Noxious Grasp in the main because of all these people playing green, you know, like 90% of the metagames green decks or whatever ridiculous number it is. I don't, don't quote me on that. Um, and so we put this deck together and it, and it worked out pretty well. You know, like we won our four matches the last time that we played. It was fun to play. Ether Gust in particular was the one that, that felt uh, really good. It was, it um, was more impressive than Noxious Grasp actually, because sometimes we played against red decks instead of green decks and it still work. And, it works so well with they put it back on top of their library and then you play jace and like you know you do this like on their end step and then you play jace and mill that card over from the top of their library and uh it gets rid of it for good and that felt really good um but yeah this is just good old-fashioned demir control um you know tons and tons of removal a little bit of discard with some thought erasures we got Narset for card advantage keep, and keeping our opponents from having card advantage. Of course, we got Counter Magic. Of course, we got Sweepers. And then our win cons, we have Jace that just draws us tons of cards. Jace was just a really important card in the deck, and it was and it honestly uh, played really well last time because we just need that extra card advantage. We need that extra card every turn. And so that's what Jace uh, allows us to do. Um yeah, we can we can win the game if we like mill out, but that's not something I'm really necessarily looking f towards doing because if you if we try to do that and then they kill our Jace like before we mill out, then that could be bad. But basically, we just want that that card um, every single turn. I I was ticking up and targeting my opponent most of the time and trying to to mill them out. Um, you know, make make them have less resources to kill us. And then mass manipulation, very strong card also. So we can let a couple of threats resolve in the late game and take them and use them to kill our opponent. Um, against control decks, if we need some more threats, we got some Thief of Sanities in the sideboard, whenever, especially if they're not expecting creatures after sideboarding. Hopefully that gives us a good change of pace there. All right, well, let's get started with some Demir Anti-Green. We're going to be getting a lot of experience today. We not being on for the last couple days. Y'all know during our Halloween stream, my power went out. Anyway, what's what's up, everybody? We had some more people join in. Bob Aquanaba, Chain Smokers. Hey, everybody. You wish you had a way. To draw and discard to get rid of unneeded sideboard cards. Do you mean like like Noxious Grasp and Ether Gust if they're not needed? We just draw cards instead, and you know if they're stuck in hand, they're stuck in hand. But for the most part, everybody's playing green, and so they haven't been stuck in hand too much. Okay, very reasonable looking opener hey look a green deck what a surprise if you're kind of newer to the channel this is my cat Hawkeye he's awesome he just had his lunch he's all happy I think I hold up Negate for Oko. Now nah, we'll just get this. Oh, well, I guess I clicked hold up Negate. Hmm. All right, we need land. Hey, Chainsogers, thanks for the resub there. 
I guess the sub notifications aren't really working. See if I can redo it. Huh. Yeah, for some reason the sub notifications aren't working. I don't I don't know why. Hey Candice. Happy Sunday. Alright, so unfortunately so Thought Erasure is just a you know, we're just paying two mana to surveil one here, but we're gonna have to go to discard anyway. There we go. Good. Hey, what's up, Death Jockey? Thanks for that sub as well. Yeah, but like the the hype boats, the 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 alert, it's not working. I don't know why. Thanks, Death Jockey. Hey, Espada. Um, So, of course, if they draw a cat, I'm, like, really dead. Because it's not like you, can, you can't you can counter a cat and have it not come back and everything like that. So, basically, if they draw a cat, I'm really dead. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. No, I don't... No, it... Is enchanting. I honestly don't know why it's like that, Kendis. Too close-minded. So I'd like to Ritual of Sit away these two creatures, I think. It's me taking another three here, though. I could just Aether Gust the 3-3. Three, three. I don't know if I have, what do I, do I have anything in the sideboard for Cauldron Familiar? I really don't, do I? No, because I need Cry the Carnarium in the sideboard for Cauldron Familiar. Cauldron Familiar is getting more and more popular. So I guess, I guess that's like a, something that maybe to add to the sideboard here for this deck is Cauldron, is a uh, Cry the Carnarium. That's the, like the one answer for Cauldron familiar if it's out there. You play Return to Nature in this because of Cauldron familiar. I yeah, I, I would just. I mean, I guess Return to Nature kills Witch's Oven, but Cry just exiles it. I can't I can't really like keep them from dealing two damage to me. Yeah, 
Yeah, it can exile Cauldron Familiar, Return to Nature can, but not if they have Oven in play and they're doing their thing. It doesn't, it doesn't help. Hey, Anamusha, I've been okay. Been okay. Uh, cry, cry works. Because Cry just says. Cry says that anything dies before it or after it that turn gets exiled. So you can. You definitely can use Cry of the Carnarium. Like, that's. it's Cry of the Carnarium is the, the just perfect card against Cauldron Familiar. Gonna be two damage. We're down to one. Be very shocked if we win this. All right. They just sacrificed that thing to do the extra point damage. Because, yeah, I have, like, disfigures against, like, aggro, but... This isn't really just an aggro deck. Huh. Yeah, Witch's Oven is a problem. Yeah, Witch's Oven is definitely a problem. Hey, TCM. I just, I don't really have any great plan here to stop. If Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven's on the battlefield, I'm just going to die, basically. I don't have a good plan to stop it, unfortunately. We're going to try Thief of Sanity, but then Thief of Sanity also just can fill my opponent's graveyard. But I feel like I need to kind of be a little bit more offensive. A little more aggressive because we can't really sit back against Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven. So that's why I'm going to try the Thief of Sanity. But I think we may need some, you know, two or three crowd carnariums in the sideboard. Moving forward now. So 
So this isn't great. They definitely have Vela Summer. How they shocked in for Breeding Pool turn one. That's just telling me they have Vela Summer. So that's not great for me. Obviously, I would love to would have loved Legion's end to that thing. This is a map of the So they have another devil, another midnight reaper. Hey, Storm. I'm back. We're here ready to go for a, a good long stream today. Make Savage. Thank you so much for the sub there. I appreciate that. Our fourth sub of the day. Yep, yep, everything's good. Yep, everything's all good. All right, got two cats exiled. Um, it's certainly possible that, wait, didn't I get rid of these Noxious Grasps? I, mu I must have kept one in. I thought I got rid of them. But it's certainly possible that, that they Veil of Summer this. Darn, they didn't. <clears throat> Midnight Reaper is really, really good against me. I'm not sold Midnight Reaper is that good in that deck, or because like it's already a, it's a really painful mana base and and everything. That deck's trying to usually stay alive. It has a really good late game. So I don't think I don't think Veil of Summer is that great in, in the deck overall be, because of that. But against me in this matchup, it's amazing. I could have held up Sabotage and not play the Rider here, but I'm at six. Six is not very much life. Have like one decision. Yeah, their, their mana base isn't too bad. I mean, once upon a time, 
helps fix it quite a bit. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you it's just lethal. Oh dear. Oh uh, wait, I guess they just have a, a two three. Yeah, Midnight Reaper was so good in both of those games. I mean, so basically that's the the deck that we just played there, that's like that's basically the deck that I'm playing up next. I'm not playing Midnight Reaper though. But that, that's basically the deck I'm playing up next. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I can't I can't get any lower right now, so just started ranking up since the So yeah, it doesn't not too big of a deal. So my opponent's deck had green in it, but it wasn't it wasn't really a green deck. They had Oko Gilded Goose, like that's it. Anyway, Kazunadal, thank you so much for the tier one sub there. Thanks for that resub. I appreciate that. It's our fifth sub of the day. I don't know why the alerts aren't working, but the alerts just aren't working for some reason. I don't know why, but hopefully they'll work tomorrow. Okay. All right, so is it Flash? Probably not great for me game one with all these Noxious Grass beneath their gusts. What do you mean, Harand? What do you mean topped GP London? As in it, it won or Lyon? GP Lyon, sorry. Does topped mean it won? Did it top eight? Okay, it made top eight, okay. No, probably not, Matthew. I'll probably be streaming. I'll probably have like a, a Thanksgiving stream. Instant speed, pretty good. I have to wait an entire turn before I can get rid of these creatures, of course, because they came in at my end step. This would be a great time to have Narset keep them from drawing tons of cards. That was a really bad tick up. <laughs> Got rid of two lands for them and drew me a land. That was a pretty bad tick up. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> All right, well. 
think this through. Fizzled out. This looks like a, this is going to be a pretty tough matchup for for me here, but we got a lot of things to change here in sideboarding. Either Gus could do like a little bit, but not enough that I want to keep it. All right, so this is sixty one. So like Legion's End and Disfigure aren't too bad. I don't think I want Ritual of Soot. I think I would rather, I think I want like a Disfigure. I guess Soot helps, can kill like the 4-3 the also. I do like Disfigure being a, a very cheap instant speed answer to Cutthroat and Brazen Borrower. Let's keep one Soot, let's take out these Legion's Ends. Do I want an Elder Spell? Nah. All right, let's give this a try. <laughs> yeah, these are a couple tough matchups that we have here. You know, they're not playing Drake. Need Languish? Nah. Ritual Set's good enough. It's basically Languish. There's not too much of a difference there besides, like, Wicked Wolf. I guess Questing Beast, if you run into that. Counter this or kill it with a rider. Before action. I kind of want to take this figure. Narsa was a good draw, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we do. Yeah, finality is just languish. That's true. So languish isn't standard. So I'm taking Bone Crusher Giant. So they have a quench. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Just the trick for this. Uh, I wanted that land. I was gonna wait a turn. I just kinda instinctually did that. Like in my decision of keeping that land, I was like, okay, well then I'm gonna wait till Nurse and then I just I was thinking about Narset, how I was going to wait, but I was thinking about Narset, and I just clicked on it over there.
So, I mean, if I'm guessing, like, they brazen borrower and bounce my murderous rider, is that even a bad thing for me? Like, I just put murderous rider back into my hand? That doesn't sound like the worst thing. Then I use Murderous Rider to kill the Borrower. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so if I play Jace, no, we're gonna go Rider, because I want to be able to, I want to be able to pay for Quench and play Sabotage, which if I play Jace, then I can't pay for a Quench and then also Sabotage. So like if I play Jace, they could Quench it, then I have to pay two, and then they untap, draw a land, and, and go Rao. But then I also have manipulation at that point. Yeah, so to steal the rail. Yep, I'm reckless enough. They only actually have two spells because Borrower, Bone Crusher, Giant don't count as spells in the graveyard. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. All right, so Dream Eater can bounce the Rowl and block. They need to do that right now, though, before I untap. I was definitely, I was really hoping that they were not going to draw the land right there that game to be able to play Dream Eater, but they did. All right, so we got our... Work cut out for us again now. I probably should not have even used the, the manipulation before Dream Eater anyway. That was probably just too greedy. They just put all four over there. I was hoping they were going to put like something on top and then I was going to be able to Let's mill it over this. and draw. Alright, so I got 34 cards. I'm at 38. We're about halfway through the libraries. Those are really good draws for me these last two turns of Disdainful Stroke for the Rowl and now Sinister Sabotage. 
Those are really good draws for me the last two turns. Even the duress for the ionize. They can have Dream Eater attack the Narset to be able to draw cards with Gadwick. <sighs> yeah, I could see yeah, I could see Field of the Dead, Splendid Reclamation and Pioneer, I could see that. I'm definitely blocking. I'm not going to let them draw tons of cards. I'm just thinking about double blocking or not. You know, so it's either I just single block. No, I'm just going to I'm just going to double block. I know Thief of Sandies are are pretty valuable, but Honestly, this leaves them with basically nothing. This leaves them with a 3/3 and I have a Jace and a new Narset. I'm just not going to be too greedy. Cause I'll, it's a matter of giving. You know, if I don't, if I just do the single block, then I have to like find something for the the four three the next turn, for sure. Yeah, I usually just go for milling the opponent. It's just it's not. It's not guaranteed that we're gonna have Jace on the battlefield with. Whenever we, whenever you're at zero cards, I just don't think it's very safe. So I usually just go for mill on the opponent and just, just try to like just take out cards that kill me, make it make it easier for me to play defense, them having less cards. You know, shorten shorten their amount of time to be able to kill me. I'm not sure what the cosmetic rewards are this season. I don't know. Oh, so oh, it's Beanstalk Giant and Iron Crag Feet. Because Fires of Invention was last one, I think. Iron Crag Feet isn't a very good one. That's not a, a card that's too playable. All right, so that so I had a couple of great turns there before. This turn wasn't so good for me. Don't test me. Yeah, keeping me from ultimating. I guess I could have drawn first. I, I was planning on drawing anyway. I guess I could have drawn and seen if I would have hit a counter spell for that. I guess I should I should have just drawn first. We'll see if I actually do draw a counter spell because I can uh, I can easily afford the three life. That's not a big deal. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll take that. It's how you play the hand of death. Meditate and prepare. Sure. I don't know if like the counter unless they pay three is going to be good enough, but I have it right there where if I want to grab it with the black castle, I can. If they play some really expensive spell like a manipulation or something. Yeah, mnemonic portrayal is. The thing is, is mnemonic. Mnemonic Betrayal is kind of only good after we have played a long game and have like activated Jace and things like that And it's a really long game. It's And that kind of these kind of games are, are kind of already in my favor anyway So a lot of the games that we're losing Mnemonic Betrayal isn't would be like a card and that's stuck in our hand That's not really helping Kind of thing, but yeah at like this specific point it would, it would be amazing. All right, so they have Ral, a couple copies of Ral and a copy of Chandra. Doesn't should I be playing Elder Spell? Right now, I just have three Murderous Riders and the two Manipulations, of course. Nah. You added one Kefnet? Okay, I could see that. Hey, what's up, Zerf? It's going real good. Power's back on. We're back to working. I had my two day vacation of me just sleeping a lot. That's over, and now we're back at it. We got four pretty fun decks here. So Disfigure, I like Disfigure because of Brineborn Cutthroat can be pretty problematic. And also Brazen Barber, you know, so that's like those two cards that it's just such an efficient answer to. And those are two good, speaking of efficient, efficient threats from our opponent. Need land. My opponent's saying the same thing though. Darn it. They drew land. I didn't. It's not good. Yay. Yay. Let's draw more lands. Hmm. So if I cast Thought Erasure, then I don't have any counter magic left up. I think I'd rather just hold up the counter magic. Yeah, because I go, I go Thought Erasure. They just respond with Cutthroat. I mean, I could have, could have let that resolved and then Rider. 
But I like sabotage. I like holding rider. I don't have a lot of removal. Double Bone Crusher Giant. Sure. Like, I probably don't even really need to negate that. Because, you know, it does two damage to me, but then they're going to just re... They may not necessarily replay the giant, though. Like, if I know for sure that they're playing the giant the next turn... We just don't know for sure. Hey, Scotty. Yeah, I'm doing well. Sinecure. Welcome, welcome. All right, well, they get three looks at something good. Hopefully they don't find anything good. And we can untap and have a clear battlefield with double sabotage in hand. Hopefully. Ugh. All right, they just kept something in hand. So I got the cards over here, but they have the castle. So we'll see if what kind of wins out, the cards or the castle. All right, I'm running out of cards now. But I guess I get my own castle. This Murderous Rider is pretty valuable because it's like my only answer to, like, if they draw Chandra or another Rao. Like, I, I don't have very many answers to the Planeswalkers. It's a really nice disfigure. And if they, you know, if they drew a counter spell, and they counter it on their turn, then they still can't really block Murderous Rider by casting that on their turn. So we've gotten, we've gotten rid of three shocks. I don't know how many they're playing, but three shocks are down right now. They probably have a decent amount, though. Ooh, double scry bottom.
And then an immediate fetch after they, they've they put in three cards down to the bottom now. Shuffling those all back. I did not find anything for Thief. Well, darn. I tried. <laughs> Three shocks down. It's gonna be the name of your band. <laughs> it's a pretty good band name. That car was really scary there for a second. Are they your memories? Or mine? This will come in handy. I was like, but I, I didn't draw a card. What happened to the card? Oh, it's a second Thief of Sanity. Thief helping out with my mill plan. Ugh. Jay Gomez with that tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Jay Gomez. I really appreciate that. That's our sixth sub of the day. I'll update that. Sub number six. Yeah, Thief. So powerful. I I can't really imagine we're losing the game from here. So like six mana Chandra is something they could play to like sweep the board that I can't counter. So like that's like you know, they kind of need that with me having all these counter spells is like six mana Chandra. So I, I don't really need to play another thief out there. Rex going back to band. Hey, nothing wrong with that Rex. Thanks for that resub there. You've been playing The Witcher 3 lately. Can't believe I missed it in 2015. I I think I saw it. Isn't that like coming to... Or there's going to be like a Witcher Netflix show. And I saw that on like my, my Netflix when I was looking at that on my two-day vacation. You know, it was like upcoming... And then, and there's, is there like a, a game on, there a Witcher game on uh, the Switch? Yeah, I got some random mythic. And got a bunch of XP. We got a Mastery Orb. Oh, I guess we finished out all of those dailies that I needed. I guess we finished them all out right there. All right, Mastery Tree. Which, this is not really a tree. Okay, okay, it looks like I'm over on green. I, I thought we were starting a new color. Alright, so we're on green right now. Okay, it just came out on the Switch. Alright, we'll crack our pack open. Hopefully we get something besides gems. Nope, just some gems. That's all right. We'll take 20 gems. All right, and we're one and one.
Hey, Rex, good to be back. Good to be back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, white's definitely the color that everybody's going to be doing last. It's definitely the last one. So we'll play like two more matches. We're going to play like four matches with each deck. Rut row. Rut row. What happened to all the green decks? We played a, one one deck that I guess you can kind of call green that had just Oko and Gilded Goose as the only green cards. And then we played against blue red, and now it looks like either mono red or Mardu. Alright, it looks like mono red. Yeah, when you already have four of, when you open a pack, and if you have four of every single rare in the set, basically, if you, if you open a rare in a pack, like, let's say you, you open a, it, your pack and it's a Castle Vantress, is like the card that's generated. If you already have four Castle Vantress, it gives you a different random, a different rare, you know, it, it generates another random rare. Um, if you have four of all the rares, though, then then you, there's no more rares for you to get. So so then at that point you just get gems instead. So uh, with with Throne of Eldraine, I do have four of every single rare, and so that's why I get gems instead. There's still I don't have four of all the mythics yet, so. There's still a chance for me to get mythics. I've got them all figured out. Yeah, Firewolf, we're best of one decks all tomorrow. Right. One thing tomorrow I do I do best of one day Mondays. So tomorrow we're gonna be playing best of one. Um, but you can check out the YouTube channel there. There's a playlist. You know, if you go to my, my YouTube channel, they just linked. Um, go to the playlist. It's youtube.com slash of course. Um, there's a playlist for best of one. And so you can kind of peruse them, see if there's anything that you really like. You can, at the end, you know, like my, re the, like while I'm playing, I put, I update the record over here. So you can also go to the decks and kind of skip to the end and see like the different records and see. See what you like, you know, it's everybody likes different decks and everything like that. Let's try this. Hmm, it's not gonna really help. I have so many cards that kill me. I need to find Ritual of Soot. Alright, so that's eight. With the Fervent Champion pump, so that's five, six, seven, eight. Sideboard. I'm not sure if I want. Maybe I don't want Duress. I don't know. Duress is just really cheap. They have just so many creatures, though. It's basically all creatures.
Manipulation. So basically the cards I don't love are Duress, Negate, Manipulation. I think I'm playing all of these. I can get talked off of Narset though. What if I play Thief of Sanity? Who said they have basically all creatures? What if we try Thief? And maybe not Narset, and then maybe some negates to help protect Thief. What if we go this route? Thief instead of Narset. <laughs> yeah, there were there were not there were not very many cards that my opponent could draw that would not kill me on the spot. Maybe like a, a one mana one one. So this is basically me just not playing Narset and the Wonder S. I think that's okay. Yeah, Narset can find Ritual, and I know Ritual and Thief don't play that well together, but Narset is basically draw one card, gain three life. Really gain two life. They'll just do like two damage to it and just let the let it sit there. Gain two life, draw a card for three mana. Thief can do much, much more. Like we kinda have to like we kinda have to take risks. And Thief is a is a risk, but it's something that can pay off very big. Maybe I should have just taken the Fervent Champion and just let them have the two Slaying Fires. Yeah, honestly, I probably should have just taken the Fervent Champion because when you pair them up, they're just so good together. You know, it's it's basically that, that Fervent Champion is was a 3-1. You know, it's just the one. It's a 1-1. One, one. So it's basically three, three damage a turn haste. I, I should have taken Fervent Champion. Never mind, I'm a genius. Oh, play the Fable Passage first. Okay, good. <laughs> Fastest 180 this time. Oh no! Torbran. That's like my least favorite cereal. Wow. So if I, I play this for the adventure side, I never get the other side. But I think that's worth it with Steamkin. We'll just take our two removal spells. We're down to six. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. So I can either play Rider or Jace. Obviously, it's good getting Rider in play as fast as possible because the life link, but also just drawing extra cards a turn is good for reasons that cards are good. I want to do Jace. You've already lost. You just don't. Just gonna be a lot easier for me to double spell next turn. Well, that was terrible. Milled over two lands and I drew a land. That was terrible. 
Can you just draw these two lands again? Yay. All right. Then the deck, Either Gust is awesome. Hmm. Oh, they're playing Risk Factor? Well then. Alright, time to start milling me. I was not expecting them to have Risk Factor, to be honest. Well, time, yeah. Time to start milling me. That was bad. I mean, I'm not going to put Risk Factor back on top of their library. Whoa, 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 I wanted... <sighs> I wanted to take four damage. I guess I, I just forgot. I've spent so long since I played against this card, I guess I just forgot how it works. <sighs> wanted to take four damage. Because then, you know, like, we're at two, and we have this to protect our, like, Murderous Rider regaining life. Like, we're fine. This all just went terribly. <laughs> yeah, the wording is very annoying. We should just said like take four or draw. I don't know. Draw three. All right, get rid of more lands. Let's try this. All right, good enough. So yeah, I messed, I messed this game up. I definitely should have won this game. Hey, Ultra. Oh, it was... Yeah, I had a couple of days of not really doing very much. But yeah, I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back to having electricity. Back to work. It's always an answer. Ugh, why well, don't I have one more one more land? If I had one more land, I could castle draw that disfigure and disfigure this Tor brand after it attacks, make it a no two so it doesn't do any damage, and then and the murderous rider kills it. I just have to block, though, I think. Told you I could figure it out. Dang. Nothing killed this Torbran. We can figure a way out of this. Let's think this through. All right, that'll work. So I have... Two, 
Two, two, one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till after they draw and then gust the tour brand. So I'll I'll basically have this. They have like one card that I'm not gonna really be able to deal with here. So they they get this card to resolve whatever this is, because I'm gonna gust this thing, disfigure this other thing, negate the other thing. So they get they get this card with their two mana. How you play the hand you All right, we good. Good. Uh, sure. I'll take a ritual set. So yeah, now we're just going to mill ourselves. Hopefully, protect Hase. The wielder of many counters. We don't need another one of those. All right, so I basically don't have anything left in my library. Yeah, we're going for the mill win versus aggro. Ugh. You don't see that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bone Crusher Giants just eating its popcorn over here. Just um. You know, does it? You know, it has like the best seat in the house. Just sitting on its lawn chair, hanging out. All right, so that they can't kill me fast enough. Oh, I guess they got these castles. I guess maybe it could. Hmm. I'm just gonna draw my card. Could almost ultimate Jace, but not quite. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Starman, thank you so much there. Thanks for resubbing there, Starman. Mark that down, sub number eight. Even if they have like an like bane fire, you know, like an uncounterable burn spell for a lot of damage, even if that's the case, we have Ether Gust. There's not really anything my opponent can have here to keep me from ultimating this Jace and winning this next turn. So 
So you've been missing, just missing the Murderous Riders from a deck I've been meaning to try. Do you think it's worth crafting them instead of waiting for pack opening? Yeah, Murderous Rider is a good card to craft. Like if you have if you have like the rare slots and stuff. Like that's it's a card that goes into basically any black deck. It's just a, a very solid removal spell. It's not it's not going anywhere. Um <laughs> Yeah, so there's inescapable blaze. Yeah, because Banefire yeah, like the actual Bane Fire is not in standard anymore, but I just meant like a Bane Fire. But yeah, Inescapable Blaze could have been something there. So yeah, Rider's a good a good card for. For that. So Thief of Sanity did good for me. Not usually as good on the draw. But I do have to like win the game somehow, and Thief of Sanity can do that. Yeah, I did. I updated the sub goal. MTG bot has two extra for some reason. Like our very first sub today, it just had three. It was just off today. We kind of want more cheap interaction than just like our our win cons immediately. So either guys is a good draw, but I don't think that I'm mulliganing this hand. With that being said, Do I gust Rimrock Knight now or later? Now. That three damage can be important. Three mana, four, three hits pretty hard. The, you know, this gets rid of their Rim Rock Knight. And their other thing gets rid of both of them for good. You know, so we'll just take the two for one, even though I'm taking more damage here. So if I Murderous Rider, Bone Crusher Knight, I take four. I take two for the Bone Crusher Knight's ability and then two extra for the Murderous Rider. So like I do that, I go down to ten, they attack me, I'm at I'm at like seven at the most. I don't really have other options though. And then I can like play Rider. Try to block knight. Ugh. These 
creatures have so much power. I mean, obviously, I could have used a ritual of set in the worst way there. It would be nice to be able to play Rider and have Sabotage available to be able to, be able to protect it from, like, a slaying fire. Another ro Rimrock Knight? Uh. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect draw. I should, I should just play Thief of Sanity here. Probably. Dang. Um, yeah. Because I have to block. It's like, probably should have traded off Thief. Oh. Well, that was awesome. That was two, like, perfect draws in a row within a gate. And then the Legion's end. That was awesome. And very glad I didn't just, didn't just play Thief of Sanity, because I would have been dead. If I would have just played Thief. And not held up Sabotage the last turn, because they you know, would have made this unblockable slaying fire. I basically had perfect draw step with the gate, perfect draw step with Legion's end, and now another perfect draw step with the gate. I mean, this this one's not nearly as important as the first two, but yeah. Probably should just play the Jace there. It's still not over. If they draw another slaying fire, I guess I could play this thing, but. Hmm. Hoping to find something. Perfect. We found something. Alright, Blue Gen, see you later. And of course we are not. Let's try this. Alright, so two sabotage. 
and still play this thing. Oh, right, that thing pumps Murderous Rider. I definitely should have played that last turn to pump Murderous Rider. I kind of forgot about that. So that's an extra point of life link. But I'm glad that we didn't play it because then I had enough mana for Jace plus Sabotage. So it actually worked out that I didn't play it. I don't really need two counter spells whenever I'm just countering the thing that they draw. Okay. Two and one. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say oops back. All right, before we're going to play one more match here, level up. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick reset of Arena. Uh, I got all those rares too, it looks like. So quick reset of Arena because it's getting, it's getting slow again. <laughs> yep, GG's. GG's. Yeah, every hit with Thief was like two lands and a card to pick. All right. So here we go. Play with like, we'll play like four matches with each deck here today. How's the matchup with Rakdos, Sacrifice, and Mardu Knights? With this deck, I think Rakdos, Sacrifice is probably the worst matchup. Um, because of that matchup, there probably needs to be some Cry of the Carnariums in the sideboard. And we saw like with that last matchup, Cry of the Carnarium would have helped also. I don't really know with Mardu Knights. I don't know. Um... I'm starting to think that someone was directly responsible for the death of the radio star. But I can't put my thumb on who it was. Yeah, that... I mean, Video Killed a Radio Star is a cool song, but, like, the last, you know, minute is just the same thing over and over. They should have ended that a good 45 seconds earlier. So, I mean, this is this is already a mulligan to six, like this mass manipulation. It's going to be in our hand, but it's not anything that we ever get to cast, basically, until, like, super late game. So, like, we have, like, a... This is, like, a... It's, like, a six... It's, like, a six-card hand with, like, one in the chamber, basically. I do like having Ritual of Soot. Quite a bit. If we're going to be behind, I like having Ritual of Set. So we, we're hoping this is an actual green deck and not... Okay, it's an actual green deck. And not a fake green deck. Like the... The first one that we played against. The one that pretended like they were green, but they were actually Rakdos Sacrifice. Yeah, that is true. With Brawl, you do get to make good, easy mulligan de easier mulligan decisions, because, yeah, you know what your opponent's commander is. It's a very fair point there. So they didn't play a second land? It's an odd decision. Uh, 
Selesnia. <laughs> yeah, so they had, they had one land hand with Once Upon a Time, and I guess they may have had Flower. If they had Flower, I would have probably cast Flower immediately. Oh, they had multiple Flowers? Huh. And they just decided to... Uh, decided not play a second land, even with multiple flowers. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of Once Upon a Time. That's just not a, a card design I like very much. I think it's much much too efficient. I think I think it'd be perfectly fine and it would be a, a strong card. It probably wouldn't be, need to be a rare, but it was just one one green and instant and it did all the rest of the stuff and it didn't have that first clause of being able to be zero mana. Like even without that, with just everything else, it would be a perfectly fine card. It's a good question. Are free cards ever fun? Are there? What's the most fun card that's free? Mental misstep. days for you you hate that thing I like days that's a fun card so it's just a 1-1 one, one. I don't really feel like I need to use a removal spell on a 1-1 one, one. Well, I'm feeling like I don't need to, but we'll see if I if I was supposed to. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry. I was reaching for the mouse and got a clipped and clipped the mic instead. So I only have two ritual of sets in the main and I've used them both. Oh yeah, Days and Popper is not not fair. I agree with that. Days and Popper not fair. All right, well I guess that gets rid of two one ones. I could have drawn a, yes, please. I could have drawn a, a card there and I'm up for a challenge. It's a matter of give and take. And take in four, which I probably could afford. Tribunal. I thought that was March at first. Can we go manipulation Garrick over here? Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, we're going to need a lot more mana to go mass manipulate all these 1-1s one that March the Multitude makes. Eh. Sure, you can have that. I'd rather save save Ether Gust for March of the Multitudes. I think I can just manipulate these things. I guess I can only manipulate for one if I want to keep Ether Gust available. Give me that. Jace needs his bodyguard. It's always an answer. Thoughtfulness before action. <laughs> no, I've been really happy with the Jaces. The extra card, you know, it's just only a four mana investment, then you get an extra card every turn. I've been really happy with it. Like Gadwick. Gadwick's nice too, but Gadwick costs a lot of mana for one turn. I'll just put that right back on top. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I have just the trick for this. Am I actually gonna mill my opponent out though? Fast enough? I should I should just play this as a two three. I wouldn't mind them drawing March here. So they get to just Legion's end, the tokens. play that rider last turn, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so get these extra Legion Sands in here, the Ritual of Soot. This could be a good Thief of Sanity matchup, honestly. But the thing is, we don't really have we don't really have bad cards here. Manipulation, we can take that out. It's so gotta be worried about like venerated Luxodon. So like disfigure thief can also be pretty good. But this is a lot of cards. Hmm. What do you do when all your cards are good? It 
Yeah, Thief is basically when we've already kind of won anyway, I guess. So we'll, we'll not play Thief. And then we'll trim one Narset and... Uh, Gus Grasp, Negate, maybe Erasure. They're going to have four Vela Summers, of course. Got to be ready for that thing. Let's try this. Hey, Chris, been playing Grixis Knight's best of one. Awesome. How come I can equip Steel Claw Lance sometimes without paying the one mana cost? Uh, it'd be if you're equipping to. There's. If you're equipping to Fervent Champion, Fervent Champion is a 1 1 that says that the equip costs for it are reduced by three. So the stuff is free to equip to the the one drop so that would be my guess is that you're equipping there Hey, we got a new sub, Waldo Zilli. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. There, I don't the the notifications for some reason aren't popping up on the screen today, but I still really appreciate that. Thank you so much, there, Waldo Zilli. So I wanted this Fable Passage to be able to get a black source for the castle. And decided I probably only wanted one tapped land, and so got rid of the backwater. <laughs> okay, awesome, Matthew. Alright, so we shuffled that dismal backwater in here back and uh i guess that's something i could have done for saying all of our cards are good i could have maybe i could have just taken out a land i don't know our, our opening hand had one land and then six spells and so we mulligan and we get this that's probably venerate luxodon This like at first I thought this giant was like friends with uh, my my writings kind of taking up that picture. I was thinking like the giant is like friends. I, I thought this was like the the giant's arm of him being like, "Hey, buddy, what's up?" You know, kind of thing as he's laying on the ground. But I guess this is his hand over here. Yeah, Venerate Luxodon. That card wins games. For sure. I mean, I need to draw Ritual of Soot anyway. Just let them have that. Nope. That thing couldn't attack unless they had another 1-1.
Alright, let's try this again. Oh, that's the beanstalk. Well, it's not too obvious with, with all being black and white. Like, if, if the giant had its, like, eyes closed, but how its eyes are... doesn't necessarily look like a dead giant. Hey, SDN. Do want another land, but I need I need another blue land for Jace. I'm gonna go to the graveyard. I guess if I would have kept that, then I'd have Murderous Rider up the next turn, which I'm not gonna be able to have, but that's okay. a 3-1. It doesn't really look like a... I just want to use this right now before they shepherd and can protect. I guess I'll get rid of the flyer. I don't really want to Legion's End either, though, even though the Legion's End would use my mana better, because I want to wait for Legion's End uh, for these soldiers. Well, getting punished for ditching this land. So if I Murderous Rider that thing, then they just bounce it with Shepherd, and my Rider goes away, but so does their Guide Mother. It's probably not worth it. I should keep this Rider in case of Luxodon. Yay. I've got them all figured out. Let's try this. That passage was a good draw. That was a very good draw. So definitely like where we're at here. They may just do like the pass and try to make three tokens end step. 
Um, mm, that's a good draw for them. Good draw. This will come in Yeah, I would have liked to land and be able to just disfigure, I don't know, disfigure and murderous rider or something. Okay. My next turn's gonna be kind of difficult. No, I haven't played much Nivmizit Reclamation. I've never been a big reclamation fan but I definitely wasn't whenever they printed it I thought that the amount amount of mana it generated was just not was not reasonable for standard but then they've kind of doubled down and printed other cards like bolus of citadel and fires of invention and it's just like a normal effect now That was a great draw step for them. Wow, no respect for Jace. Can we draw land? Land, please. It's a matter of give and take. Thank you. Um, they just never want to use the shepherd, I guess. Just keep not using it, especially like not even bouncing the Luxodon whenever I tapped out last turn. Yeah, I do like Escape to the Wilds a whole lot with Reclamation. No respect for Jace. Let's try this.
So ultimating Jace right now would give me 12 cards, and it's just kind of too many cards to use. That was a good tick up for me, getting rid of an, another innkeeper in a march. So two march down, that's the fourth innkeeper. We've exiled the other three. And now we got this lifelinker out here with some defense for it, some protection. It's a little annoying. It's not so bad using cards right now if we're going to be drawing seven next turn. Even though it's not like the most, like that's not like the best card to ever counter spell, but. So I need to discard four cards at end step. All right, well, we can get rid of this one. So I guess we're going to go Thought Erasure, Noxious Grasp, the 3 1. That Veil of Summer. Or just another march. They have, they have a turn to resolve whatever they draw here, but there's nothing I'm really that scared of. Definitely not scared of that. And I think we got it. This will come in handy. <laughs> they resolve the heck out of the land drop. Cool, Gray. So the, the last two days you've been playing this deck a ton, and you've been rolling everything except for the aggro decks with great trust, with great draws. That's awesome. Yeah, I think I think the the scariest thing playing this deck. I mean, I I don't I probably could have castled and I didn't, but whatever. Um. Is probably Witches of and Cauldron Familiar. That's what we lost to earlier. That does kind of seem like the scariest thing. And which means that I probably need Cry the Carnarians in the sideboard. Hey, sub human. All right, three and one. Awesome. All right, solid two hours, four matches. We're storming some citadels, or I guess just the citadel. No, Wicked Wolf's not really a problem. We have we have four ether gusts, and two manipulation like. So yeah, resolved wicked wolf's not really a problem. We got those. Like that's it's a lot of stuff. Ugh. Especially you know like, 
Yeah, Ether Gust is awesome. So yeah, basically we should probably have Cry. Okay, so kind of moving forward, I think we probably want Cry of the Carnarium. <laughs> um. Not exactly sure where I want it though. I I kind of like the disfigures, but I guess I guess it'd have to be over one of the disfigures and one of the legions ends and get like two cry the carnarium in here. Even though I like both of those cards. But you know, we got to we got to fit it in somewhere. So I think that's where we could fit in two cry the carnariums for um cauldron familiar. So 116 and 51 for the sub battle streams. It's not that's not bad. So it's basically two two to one. So chat's chat's holding their own there. Oh yeah, Cry the Carnarium is perfect because this okay, so it says you know, all creatures get minus two, minus two, exile all creature cards and all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. So you know how like they're like whenever you try to kill Cauldron Familiar, they sacrifice it to Witch's Oven and you know hide it in the graveyard and then bring it back but this just exiles all creature cards in all graveyards that were put there so like if they if they sacrifice their cauldron familiar in response it gets it gets exiled still and then also just later on if a creature would die this turn at all exile instead so everything that dies that turn either before or after a cry the carnarium gets exiled and so this is just the perfect card against cauldron familiar but no, Ritual of Soot's a whole lot better main deck. Like, besides Cauldron Familiar, Ritual, like, Ritual of Soot's not... Or, like, Cry's not killing a whole lot of stuff in the metagame that Ritual of Soot is. Basically, against all these green decks, like, there's just so much so much Nissa. You just can't play... Like, we have to have Ritual of Soot because of all the Nissa and, and Oko making 3-3s. Three there's just a whole bunch of 3-3s. Three and so Cry of the Carnarium, overall, it's not a very good card in the metagame, I don't think, except for against the cauldron familiar it's also perfectly fine against smaller red aggro um like knight knight decks that are playing smaller creatures um even like golgari knights that have like the 2-2 two -two, um the 2-2 two -two flyer that can raise dead things and edge wall innkeeper and stuff like that you can exile everything there with crowd canarium also but overall i, I like ritual of set a lot more ross with that risa ross a biggest boss. Thank you so much there. Um, the wolf was giving you problems. Even with all these ether gusts and manipulations, you're still struggling with wolf. I guess I haven't really had any problems with wolf so far. But I've only played a I've only played a couple of matches against a wolf decks. Um. <laughs> but all right, um, when do we bring in thief? Like basically, if we don't need ritual of soot, and it, like you're playing against a control deck. You don't need, you know, they're not having, they don't have creatures, so you don't really need Ritual of Soot, Legion's End, stuff like that. You want to bring in an extra threat. You got the Thief of Sanity, so it's, it's an extra threat card. When you lie on Grasp and Ritual. Yeah, yeah, Wolf is not, yeah, Grasp and Ritual aren't good against Wolf, but Aether Gust. I mean, I guess you, you like, you know, you put, you try to put it back on their library and mill it over with Jace or put it back and then counter it. I could see playing, like, if it, if it does turn into be a problem, though, I can definitely see putting Omnixilis Cruelty in the sideboard if you want. Um, cruel, like, there's, sometimes they can just make it bigger than 5-5, five five, though. I would, I would honestly prefer Epic Downfall. I, I wouldn't play Omnixilis Cruelty. I, I would prefer Epic Downfall because uh, even though it's a sorcery, but it's two mana instead of three. And it just always gets it. So, like, if you want something for Wolf um, that you can also play other places, I would recommend Epic Downfall. 
All right. Anyway, so that's Demir anti green. Um, awesome, awesome uh, deck here. It's a, it's a fun one to play. If you're tired of all these green decks everywhere, give this one a shot. Um, it looks like some of y'all are saying that you've been having a lot of fun with it here in chat, and um, I'm happy with that. That's this is a good one here. But we're gonna go ahead and move on. We're gonna play four matches with our other decks here also. Thanks, Joe Ball. Thanks for the sub there. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, leave some comments, let me know what you think of the deck, how's it working for you, all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching Demir Anti-Green, and I'll see you for the next video.